All right, I'm back from Planet Coaster, and today we're going to get started on the bigger sections of housing in the village. But first, I would like to move this, and I believe I have to do it this way, just to get this out of the area. I'll just put it back here for now. Just, we'll move it later. We'll build a building for that eventually, towards the end of the village. Tuck it in a corner somewhere. Oh, and I want to get rid of this little part sticking off that's been bothering me for the longest time. I've just kept forgetting to come back to it. Let's see. Put this on rustic. Oh, and one thing before I get started. Worst case scenario, let's say the game's running like shit. I need to delete something. What will I delete? I will delete this area. Worst case scenario. Probably won't happen because I'm still running solid 60 frames. Paused and unpaused, so... Just warning you now, so later on we don't have to, you know, spring it on you like city skylines. But that's a possibility that down the line we might not be able to run everything in this park. And I was thinking of having like a centralized part here. But I don't know what to put in yet. Maybe a ride, maybe a coaster, maybe a track. Cart track of some sort. I am not sure. Now, do I want the path to go up and around? So maybe follow along the side. Probably, for the first house, at least. Just how do I want to build this? That's the question. We do four... And three... Four back? We do four back. It's close enough to the... Gotta have it on the inside block. I'll start with a simple shape. Four by four. And let's see where that takes us. Because I did not plan this ahead. I'm just going by whatever comes in my mind today. See, I want it to be similar to the row houses back there, but I don't want it to just look exactly like them. So they gotta have extra bits hanging off. Which I think I have an idea. Okay, let's try this. So if we have a section hanging off there. We have a little tiny one block section maybe going up here from the ground that'll be uh, connected to the house not all the way down to the ground possibly something like that what if I had like a slanted roof might turn out to be the dumbest thing I've ever built, or it might look the coolest thing I've ever built. I can't decide what it's going to be yet. It's certainly something. That's for sure. Oh, it's going to take forever to design this thing up. There's got to be more coming out of the front, though. I could always have an extra bit for the entrance. Like a porch or something. Yeah, we can do that. So, that's no problem. Let me turn this up. Just so I can get this through. Do not do that. We need to bring this up. Bring it across like that. So that goes in there. Perfect. I don't know why I decided to go with a house that looks like this to start with. I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand my decision sometimes questioning myself as I do this, but maybe I can make it work. Because I could just make a regular crappy looking house. And yeah, I could, but uh, I'd say that's just one block too high. I think that's the problem. I think it's got to level off or something. It looks a little too big compared to everything else here. If we change it to that... Where it levels off, and then we have a roof top to it. It looks close enough where from a distance you can't really tell that that's not perfectly lined up. I love I love the camera in this game. Come on. There we go. Hey, you know what? I'm okay with that. I also have to bring these over the edges, which I completely forgot to do. Because that's why it looks so weird. Yeah, let's do that now. Let's turn that grid size down.
Okay, so this is the final shape I've decided on for this house. It's probably changed multiple times. I've thrown away some footage. I'm not looking forward to editing this because there's a lot of shit I'm throwing out, changing in the process of doing. And this is the final shape I've come across. Now I just have to design up the sides of the front and get the little uh, wooden planks at the bottom. That be. I'm just going to type in the all section. Yeah, it's probably just going to be these. Wherever you are. Oh, you're going to poke through. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. I want that to be wood on the bottom instead of this. Although I like how that looks on the bottom. Okay, let me place one of these down. Wherever it is. Is it in there? Sure. Too low. <laughs> of course it is. See, I don't, I don't mind that, but for some reason, I think that fits better than this because the the contrast and the wood color. I don't know why. I think that look just looks better as like an under thing. I know nobody's ever gonna see it, but you know that's just how it is. So if I lowered this to here, because I I believe you know I probably will just get rid of these. As nice as that is. As much time as I've spent messing with this. This is the easier, quicker option that will just look nicer in the long run. I gotta... Where are those little windows at? Yeah, we're gonna use the smaller windows later. I'm not gonna mess with that now. I do need bigger windows here in the front and the back. But which ones, I don't know. I always do that. Edit the building from here. So let's see. Just go with windows. I don't want the castle windows that I've used on the castle behind me. I need something bigger that fits the theme of what we're going with here. Probably not going to have a single thing that'll fit. Well, I do want to put those in here, so we're going to do that now. I can always move them later. There's those. That's the ones we've been using. There's that. There's that. There's that. Nope, now we're starting to get into the windows I don't enjoy. See, like, even these. Like, that just doesn't fit. But I need something larger at the top. Because if I was just to row these out all the way up, so it wouldn't work. It would not work. Village window. Oh, that kind of sticks out a bit. I like that, you know? Maybe that could be the new windows for these houses, because I actually like that a lot. And it could be, uh, could switch up the theme a bit. Hmm. Okay. I find it weird they don't position snap in the same spot. That's interesting. Well, it actually gives me space to put, uh, what you call it, some lining in at the bottom, which this place desperately needs some texture to it because it's pretty dull at the moment i think we're going to stick with those new windows because as nice as those other windows are it's too similar to the smaller houses and i kind of want a similar but different style to the small and big houses so i get to go and delete all of these now so this should be very fun to watch totally not tedious time consuming or anything like that Oh shit, I kind of like how those stick onto the roof like that. I'm not going to do it here, obviously, but I'll keep that in mind for future reference. And I've just pasted them down. I can't put them here because of, you know, it's like sticking up through that, and if I lower them, it'll just look weird. So, what I'll probably just do is raise these up to like right there. Try to get them as even as possible. Probably off by like a pixel or something, but that's okay. So where's that lining we always use?
I think that's a pretty decent start to our first huge house, huge mansion. Uh, definitely took me a long time to at least get the general shape going. Trust me, it took me a long time. And I don't know if I showed this part, but I just took these little wooden frame things and I duplicated them and then I rotated them inside so they gave little extra detail to it. But yeah, just thought I'd point that out because I figured, you know, someone might ask about that compared to everything else. Like, oh, how'd you do this? And even though it's probably nothing special, but that I'm done for a day. Uh, hopefully next time we can finish this up and start a second house. So yeah, see you then.